Hey gang, Miss Hairbrush here. Get out your black ballpoint pens because today we are drawing a majestic giraffe. It's going to look so good. Please hit that subscribe button to get new art videos. Remember, you can pause this video anytime you need to to catch up on the drawing. A giraffe, I learned while making this video, looks a lot like a stretched out horse. I had to draw it several times because I kept drawing giraffes that look like horses. Make sure his rump is lower than his chest. That helps a lot. This drawing only needs three colors, brown, yellow, and black. Watercolor brush pens are my media of choice, but you can use crayons, colored pencils, or regular markers too. The techniques will still work. Using your brown dipped in water, lightly fill in the body. Make it darker on the top of the neck a little on the chest, the edge of his tummy, and his tail. On his face, go around the outside edge, and his lips, ear, and ossicones. Yes, that's what they're called, ossicones. Put some brown on the middle of his back legs. And don't worry if you don't get the colors in the perfect places. Color his hair, which sticks straight up on the back of his neck like a plunk mohawk. Now with your yellow, go over all the places that are still white except for his feet and tail. Okay, at this point, the whole thing looks like a real mess, but don't worry, we're going to add the spots next, and the spots will fix everything. Take out your brown again and just go for it. Make small patches that are close together but don't touch. Don't make circles, they should look more like puddles. See how this one has a slice out of it? This is a common shape of a giraffe spot, so add in a few of those. And this one goes all the way to the outline edge. Add some of those too. You don't need any water on your brush for these spots. For the leg spots, you do need water on the brush because they are smaller and lighter in color. They are also a little farther apart, just like this. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. Look at that! Their height allows them to reach leaves that other animals can't get to. Their ossicones are for fighting and protecting their heads, and of course, the cool factor. Giraffes know what looks good. We're just about finished with the spots now. See how that cleaned everything up? All your hard work on the shading is paying off. With your brown pen dipped in water again, we'll finish the shading. Add brown on the edges of his hind leg and tummy color in his back leg, and add the edge along his neck, like this. 
Add a few more spots on his face and fill in his nose with more brown. Time for the black pen, and that means you're almost done. Go over his eyelashes, eye, and nostril. His tail is all black, and so are his hooves. Add some black to his ear. And you can outline with the black pen too, just to finish it all up. I like to do that sometimes. What should we name this guy? How about Metcalf the Giraffe? Pretty good. Add a few lines to look like hair, and I think maybe Metcalf has some blue and green on his mohawk, you know, to impress the herd. just said mohack. Finish the shading on his back and you've got one fine drawing. Walking around in Africa, strutting, eating leaves. I'm looking down on everyone. The tallest you've ever seen. Got a good look with my Cone. Spotted, looking good. I got confidence. Lions, leave me alone. Skyscraper in my neighborhood. 